straight ahead. We've got a good one on tap here between our visitors and our home team. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. First carry of the game here for Royce Freeman. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On third down, it's Freeman. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Herbert just beat the play clock. He goes underneath to Freeman. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, Freeman. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here the 32, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing, but to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away in the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Well, he's going to take a shot right away, and this one is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Jarvis Landry that time. That'll bring up second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow eluding the pressure right. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
Well, young quarterback Charles rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. Royce Freeman, 82 yards. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnover. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked by Mel Renfro, the Hall of Famer. But to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline, and now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Rifle it in there every now and then. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? Yeah, we'll see how determined they are. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. And unable to get downhill there, as so he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Here's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. This is Freeman on first and 10. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. The last run got six. Now second and four. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. Look at this. Middle of the field breakaway and touchdown Royce Freeman with his second touchdown here in this first half and his guys find a way to stretch that lead well he was already over 100 yards running the football prior to this play but this run may be his best yet I've got to agree with you on that when we're looking at a guy running with extreme confidence running in harmony and sync with his blockers all of them kind of moving as one and look at the end result. Big plays. Taking it about the one. 
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far, and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Burrow on play action. They'll roll him out right. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards, the final tally. Here we go. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. On second down, here's Fournette. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Clown Edwards Alaire punching it in from a yard away. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. It's Freeman. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Well, earlier this half, you were wondering how they were going to defend him. I think you used the term bottle him up at different levels. They've struggled to do that. They certainly have, because when you see them approach, in order to bottle him up at different levels, that front line's got to take care of business. Otherwise, he starts to sift through. Thank you. 
Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they snap him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. On the return, it's White. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And with only nine seconds remaining, well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. Dancing to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Javon Holland. Well, Charles, you're so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Now they go play action now. Burrow, he'll buy some time right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They go play action with Burrow. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. But now it'll be third down. to pass he's got the hook up to Odell Beckham and he is brought down but not before reaching the 30 a gain of 26 on the third down conversion now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down how about him buying some time outside of the pocket waiting for someone to come open and when he did he put it on him for a big play and a first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking for Landry that time. Third down here. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. 
They able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now it's Burrow. Out to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield, and it's caught. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson, 30 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Man, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Offense on the field, ready for their next possession. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Back to throw here, Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll let it go deep for Freeman. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Before we came up to the booth, the last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Play action. It's Burrow. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Mel Renfro, the Hall of Famer. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. 
the thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right not just because of how fast the game's going but just trying to get the right sight line to the football that's not always easy we'll see what they decide here and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Freeman again. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Herbert off of play action. And this is going to be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. In a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. The extra point forthcoming. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone, and this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one-score game here in the fourth. Fighting through it. He's got space. Space to maneuver at the 40. And all the way up to the 46. That's good for 21 yards at a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 181 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Royce Freeman, 33 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here, and we're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And got his man complete. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard, as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Now it's second and nine. Burrow forced out to his left. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Thankfully for the offensive fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retained possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. The big back Leonard Fournette able to push his way in from the yard out. And his guys are going to take the lead. Oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, it looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, 5 between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. on the field ready for their next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. So that effort there gets them into field goal range, but a field goal does them no good here. They need a touchdown to win this ball game. And that's exactly what the defensive coordinator is thinking right now. Yes, they gave up the big run. Now there's hope for the offense. They still have to score a touchdown to beat them. He's going to dial up something right now to protect his goal line. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stopped that one by Milano scrimmage. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Third and goal. Keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. And this 
will result in him losing yardage back to the three. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes us forward for about six. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We're likely put an end to this thing. That one looks like he'll throw here. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now it's Burrow. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Troy Hill picks it, and he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Out of the gun, they give to Freeman. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. the nine on second and eight. And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. That's going to set them back five yards. to throw escaping the pressure right and it's caught it's a touchdown so they rally here in the final minute and they're an extra point away from tying this game and while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown they're still down one that extra point is not a gimme and now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. 
The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense.